Hi there, I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Thanks for joining in this evening, 6 p.m. every evening this week, we're putting out our top tips for landlords and you can direct messages on our page if you have any questions or if we can help with anything. So today I'm going to talk to you about health and safety. Now, as a landlord, you are responsible for the health and safety of your tenants when you rent them out of property. So it is very important that you maintain your property to the correct standards as set out by law. The most recent piece of legislation surrounding minimum standards for rented accommodation is the Housing Regulations 2019. And I'll pop a link up as well with this post so you can read up more on it. Now, the regulations cover a whole host of um, I suppose situations and requirements that you need to have in your property. So I am just going to put out a few of them here this evening because I feel that sometimes when I meet landlords, they're not aware of all of these and sometimes they could overlook something just from not realizing that they need to comply with the regulations. And that could be quite serious if there's an accident in the property or somebody's injured. So you need to ensure your gas boiler is serviced every 12 months. You need to ensure that there's carbon monoxide alarms in on every floor in the property, but also in the rooms where you've got um, gas. So if you have a gas fire, gas boiler, gas oven, ensure you've plenty of carbon monoxide alarms. The other thing is you need to ensure your smoke alarms are interlinked either electrically or else a 10 year battery life. So you know the smoke alarms with the red button and you pop a battery in and it beeps if the battery runs out and so on. They're actually not compliant when it comes to rented accommodation. Yes, we can buy them and put them in our own homes, but you cannot use them in rented accommodation. You need to ensure you've got a fire extinguisher or a fire blanket. Remember, if you put an extinguisher in, you must service it every year. So don't forget about that. And also any windows that are above the ground floor, they must be fitted with restrictors. Now restrictors are like little catches that you put in the window. So the window only opens a couple of inches. This will prevent or reduce the risk, I suppose, of a young person or, or a child, you know, actually falling out a window. So it's very important to have those in place. As I said, I'll pop a link up with this video so you'll have plenty of bedtime reading tonight. And thank you for joining us. Have a great evening. Mm -hmm.